Hello everyone, Lacon NSP here and today I'm gonna show you something really cool and that's a combination lock. Do you see? Combination one, two, three, four. And I cannot get there. How? How I can get there? How? No. You have to know the combination for this. So my combination is this, that, and this one. And now I can get in and find nothing. But I could have here diamonds. I'm in creative mode. I can have stacks of them. Anyway, now if you want to build this yourself, just follow me and you'll know in no time. Okay, let's start with four levers. And then I'm going to show you how to do it with five. And then you'll be able to extend the number as much as you want. It's the same method. It's not something tricky. So here I have four levers. Yeah, don't hear what people say. They are four, not five. So what I want to do is take each couple, this one. I'm going to connect it into an AND gate. I'm going to count one, two, three, four. And I'm going to create an AND gate like that. By the way, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I will really suggest to go and watch my tutorial about the basics, about the logic gates and you understand a lot so now that i've connected this couple into an ant gate i'm going to do the exact same thing for the other couple i'm going to create one more here like that i'm going to connect them here i'm not going to use any redstone because it's going to interfere with each other so i'm going to use three repeaters like that okay now that i ran out of levers my next goal is to reduce the number of the outputs down to one. So I'm going to do that by making one more AND gate here. One, two, three, four here. Like this. I'm going to connect these outputs with the inputs of the last gate. And yeah, I'm done. I'm going to place here a double thumb stone. No lampstone, redstone lamp, sorry. So what an ant gate does is it gives you an output on only and only when you set all of its inputs on, just like that. So now we can decide the combination. Let's say it's going to be on, off, on, off. Now what you need to do, if you haven't guessed already, you have to invert its off switch, its off lever. This is off, so I'm going to go behind and make it a NAND, and NOT gate, you invert it. This is off as well, so you invert this one. Now you see the output that it's on, and it's going to be on only when I set the right combination. Like this. So that's the main method, that's the main tactic. All you have to do is to try to connect each couple into an AND gate, okay? And then when you run out of levers, you have to try to reduce the number of the outputs down to one, and you're good to go. And then you just have to decide the combination. You invert every switch that is off, and that's it. Let me show you, though, how you can do it with five. It's the same thing, but it depends on your imagination, actually. Here I'm showing to you the methods, the, the way that's easier to remember, actually. So here I have five levers. I'm going to take the first couple. I'm going to connect it into an AND gate, like that. No, you come here and you go there. Connect it like this. Now, because I have five, I will not go to the next two. I'm going to go to the this couple on the other side. And I'm going to do the same thing. This way it's going to look better on the end. Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Okay, now this one, this poor little lonely guy, we will pass the output through those gates with the use of repeaters. You know why? Because we don't want the redstone to interfere with each other. So we're gonna do this. 
Okay, now I have three outputs actually, and I want to reduce the number down to one. What I can do here, and the most, yeah, the best thing we can do here is to make a double AND gate. And you can do this like this two outputs, connect them, and then we have two outputs. We have to reduce this number to one, so I'm gonna make one more AND gate here. And that's pretty it. Again, the same story, blah, blah, blah. It gives you output on only when all of its inputs are on. Then you decide the combination. Let's say I want it to be like that. This lever is off, so I go behind it and I make it an ant gate, uh, not gate, not ant, come on. And this is off as well. I revert it. And there you go, guys. Now, if you don't like this one, this redstone on the side, if you're willing to spend repeaters, more repeaters, you can do it like this. Just make it as you like. And here and there interferes. I'm going to replace those junctions with repeaters. Same thing here. Do as you like and replace with repeaters every junction that interferes this one and this one and that's it now you can cover it with stone and make it look pretty this is a cool stuff this is something cool but it takes some space as you see so you can do it inside the mountain you can create a fake hill that I, like I did before you saw what I did so yeah that was it and if you have any questions please leave a comment and i will try to help you the best i can if you enjoyed this tutorial hit the like button subscribe and till next time bye bye